Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen the how to construct a tree uh, with the help of uh, in order traversal and the pre order traversal. So in this session we will go with the another concept that is how to construct a tree with the help of in order traversal and the post order traversal. Right. So, we know that in order means, I will write here, in order means the first left child, left child will be visited and then the root child will be visited and then the right child will be visited. And coming to the post order, post order. First, the left chain will be visited, then right chain will be visited, and at last, the root chain will be visited. The last one will be the root. So here, in the post order, from the post order, we will find the root node, and from the in order, we will find the right and left right child and left child the same thing we will follow so in the previous session we have seen if it is a pre-order from the pre-order we will get the uh, uh, root node and from the in order we will get the uh, right child and left child here also, here also the same but here from the post order we will find the root node so we know that in the post order the last element will be the root node so if you know the root node then from the uh, in order we can know what is a left child and what is a right child? Let us take an example. So, in order, post order. Right. So, this is an in order and a post order. Now, we have to find the we have to construct the tree. So from the in order, from the post order, we have to find the root. So here, from the post order, see, post order is left, right, and root. So last element is a root. The last element will be the root. So here, the last element is a. So a will be the root here. Right. So after knowing the root, we have to find the right and left chains. So for that, we have will go with the in order. So here, a is a in order. So A is a root because in in order the left root and right. So all the left chains will be visited, then root node, then right chain. So with the help of root node, we know that what is the left chain and what is the right chain. So here you can observe A, this is a root node. All the elements which are on the left are left subtree. All the elements which are on the right are right subtree. Here are only two elements, one element in each side. Right. So, B is a left child, C is a right child. Right. So, hope you understood this one. So, this is a very simple. So, with the help of a in order and a post order, we can construct a tree. So, with the help of a post order, we will find the root, and with the help of a in order, we will find the left subtree and right subtree, and we will repeat the same process. Right. So, we will go with another example. Right, so let us take this example. So in order and the post order. So here for root node, first we have to go with the post order. See in the post order, left, right, root. So last element will be the root. So one is a root here. And now we are supposed to find the left chains and right chains of this root. So that can be find, uh, that can be done with the help of in order. See here, one is here. So what are the elements on the left hand side are? Those are the left chains, right hand side are right chains, 637. 
So among this 4 to 5, again we have to find the root node that can be done with the post order. So 4 to 5, see. So 4 to 5. So in that, in that, it's a post order. Post order means left, right and root. So what is the last element? 2. So here, the 2 is the right element. I mean root element. Right? So coming to the 637. In the 637, what is the last element? 3. Because the last element will be the root. 3. So 3 is a root on the right subtree. Now again, there are two elements, 4 and 5. Here 6 and 7. And we are supposed to find the root and then left, left and right chains. So here, we have find that 2 as a root. Now we have to find whether 4 or 5 as a left chains or right chains. So for that, we have to take with the help of in order. So go with the in order. 2 is a root node. So 4 is on the left side, 5 is on the right side. So 4 will be the left child, 5 will be the right child. Coming to the 637. So 3 is a root here. So 6 is on the left side and 7 is on the right side. Right. So hope you understood this one. So with the help of the post order, we will get the root because root is the last element. So here in the post order, the last element is 1. So 1 will be the root element. So in the in order, left, root, right. So coming to with the help of a root node, the, all the elements towards left side to the root are the left subtree. Right side to the root are the right subtree. So 4, 2, 5 and 6, 3, 7. Again in the 4, 2, 5, again we have to find the root. So with the help of a post order, 5, 4, 2. So last element will be the root. So 2 is a root node. Similarly, 3 is a root node. So coming to the in order, 2 is a root node. So 4 is a left to the 2 and 5 is a right to the 2. So left chain is 4, right chain is 5. Here 3 is a root node. 6 is a left to the 3 and 7 is a right to the 3. So 6 is a left chain and 7 is a right chain. So hope you understood. This is the a simple tree construction with the help of in order and a post order traversals. Right. So let us take one more example and just wind up. See, let us take, a, take this example. So there are more number of nodes and now we have to find the uh, binary tree. Construct the binary tree. So with the help of uh, post order, we have to find the root. In the post order, what is the last element? A. So A is a root node. Now, Coming to the right, right and left chains, go with the in order. So, A here. So, there are more number of elements or towards the left and towards the right. So, just divide it. So, what are the elements here? H, D, I, B, E. Five elements. Here, F, C, J and G. Four elements. So, among these five elements, again, we have to find the root with the help of post order. So, in the post order, C. H, D, I, E, B. So here post order, the last element will be the root. So B is a root node. And coming to this one, F, J, G, C. C is a root node because C is the last element. So in, the, in this uh, post order, C is the last element. So C will be the root node. Now, next again, Based upon the root node, we have to find the left and right chains with the help of in order. Coming to this, this one, B here. So, three elements are on the left chain, one element is on the right chain. So, so what are the three elements? H, D and I. And what is the left element? The right element? E. Only one element is there. Right. Coming to the F, C, J, G. C is a root node. So F, J, G, C, C is the root node, F is a left chain, only one chain and coming to this right, again there are two children, J and G and we are supposed to find which one is the left, which one is the root here. See in the H, D, I, again we have to find the root. So in order to find the root, go with the post order. So go with the post order, H, D, I, H, I, D. So last element is a root. So H I D last D is a root. Okay.
So based upon the root node, we have to find the left and right chains. It may it can be H and I. So D here. H is on the left side, I is on the right side. So H I. Okay. Now J and G. J and G. So in that we have to find the root node. So in order to find the root node, go with the post order. So go with the post order J and G. So these two J and G. Last element will be the root node. Last element will be the root node. So G is a root node. G is the root node. Okay. Now we have to find the left chain and right chain. So here only one thing. It can be either left chain or right chain. So that can be done with the help of in order. So J and G. So what is the root node here? G. So G is the root node. G is a root node. So J is to the left of G. So that means J is a left chain of G. Right? This one. So hope you understood this one. So this is how we can construct a tree with the help of in order and the post order traversals. So in the post order traversal, the last one will be the root. So we will get the root node and in order to find the left and root uh, root I mean left and right chains we, we have to go with the in order traversal with the help of the in order traversal we can find the elements of a left subtree and elements of a right subtree and just we will repeat the same process and we can construct the binary tree right so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, construction of a tree with the help of uh, in order and the post order traversals feel free to post your doubts in the coming comment session so that uh, so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so uh, i will post the link of this in order and the post order pre-order traversals link in the description section so that we go through that and then you can follow the session so thanks for watching thank you very much